All right, so the next part of the video is going to be the quick change kit. This is from Extreme Reloading NV. It's not a quick change kit. It's going to be a tool head stand. It's going to hold everything. You're going to get a tool head, and then you're going to get this powder measure. That includes a small and a large powder bar, and it comes with a powder die. Now here on this side, if you remember from the last video, this is part of your conversion kit. This is your powder funnel. It's going to go inside your powder die. But for right now, I'm just sticking it right there. I'm going to slide the tool head in. Your press is going to come with these two little pins. It's going to hold it in there. So if you look on the powder measure, where it actually locks onto the die, you're going to have two set screws. You want to leave that loose so you can screw it in and out. So when you install your fail safe rod, you're going to put it from the left side of the press, the opposite side of the handle. You're just going to push the two levers together. You're going to make sure this handle goes through both of them. That's going to slip down. This here is kind of like a wing nut. You're going to screw this for tension up and down. You're going to pull this tab down, clip it in there. And you're just going to use this like a wing nut, and that's going to set your tension. I don't have this set up yet, so I don't want to do it all the way. But what's going to happen if you have a size case in here, this is going to go in. You're going to charge your case. And this failsafe rod is going to return it back to home. That way you're not double charging. But this is it for the quick change video. I just wanted to show off what is included with the quick change kit. I will show you how to set this up in my next video. I'm going to show you how to set the dies up. I don't want to show how to set it up yet because I need my sizing die set up first because I need a size case because this is going to set your flare and your powder charge. So stay tuned for that video. And the following video is going to be the snowshoes part, the detent ball, the roto cam and the roller cam. It's supposed to make the press run a lot smoother. I'm going to show it before and after just to see if it really does make a difference. So thanks for watching.